Hello, and welcome to Data Basics, where we cover the basics of data analysis. In today's video, you will learn the basics of linear regression in under five minutes. The first step in learning about linear regressions is to learn exactly what the purpose of a linear regression is. A linear regression is a predictive analysis that is typically focused on predicting an event. A linear regression is basically trying to answer two questions. Does a predictor variable do a good job in predicting an outcome variable? And how exactly does that predictor variable impact the outcome variable? And most importantly, regression models are among the most popular machine learning models. They are applicable to almost every field of study and are a highly sought after skill. Next is to understand the actual mechanics of how a linear regression works. When doing the regression, we are attempting to model the relationship between the two variables by fitting a linear equation to the data. Typically, we represent our input or predictor variable as x and our output or response variable as y. So, for example, if you wanted to measure the relationship between the amount of advertising paid and its corresponding increase in sales, Advertising would be the x variable and sales would be the y variable. The equation for a simple linear regression model is below, where y equals b0 plus b1x plus ei. This is the further breakdown of the linear regression model or equation yi is the dependent or outcome variable, b0 is the population y-intercept, b1 is the population slope coefficient, and xi is the independent or predictor variable. Those three together are the linear component of the equation. And then ei is the random error term or random error component. Next, it is often helpful to see a linear regression represented to show the linear nature of the variables. So first, when plotting the data, these are some examples of data that does and does not fit a linear regression. The first image shows a steady increase in both x and y, suggesting a linear line may be fitted. The second image shows a higher increase in y than increase in x, showing a non-linear relationship. And the final image represents all other types of data plots where there is no upward trending line visible in the data at all. Here we can see the visual representation of the linear regression equation on data that has been plotted and has a linear relationship. The error terms are the distance of each data point from the regression line, b1 shows the angle of the slope, and b0 is the scale of the y variable. And finally, here is a quick example of a simple linear regression. Let's assume that you want to estimate the population of a state in the following year based on the population amounts of previous years, something that is absolutely possible with a linear regression. And for this example, let's use the state of Pennsylvania. You can take as many of the previous years as you want and make those years the x variable. Then you take the population amounts for each of the years that you've selected and those separate totals will be the y variable. You can then plot all of those data points in the statistical tool of your choice, which will give you an estimation of population increase for the upcoming year.
In plotting that data, you would see a graph similar to this one, which will show the linear relationship between the increase in years and the corresponding increase in population. If you like this content, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on upcoming videos. And as always, drop a comment below if you have a concept in data analysis you'd like to know more about, and we can cover it in a future installment of the series.